I'm Jack Simmons and welcome to Ghost Raiders. Ghost rule number four. If you invite a ghost in, be sure to ask them to leave. When you don't, like we did last week, you got problems. Gary? There's no Gary, man. Only Flower. Gary's been possessed by a 1960s hippie called Flower. We tried all the normal remedies. But none of those seemed to work. I consulted with Mike, Dr. Hunt, and he suggested letting the possession run its course. That strategy made for an interesting week. What is that, nutmeg? It's a special ingredient I got from Charlie Manson before he became such a downer. Look, Casey, flour made brownies. No, oh, that's not one of the remedies. What remedies? I just ate hippies. Casey choking Gary was the highlight of my week because the very next day, she showed up. Becky, what happened? I don't know. We started the first part of the evening with me reading him the important parts of the New Testament. Oh, the parts about the importance of the free market capitalism? No. And then, Flower made me some coffee, and then the coffee table turned into my high school gym teacher who started to lecture me about Midwestern irrigation systems. He totally drugged you. Do you think he has more? Where's Gary? Asleep, I think. <laughs> Oh, hello, Jack. If you'll excuse me, I have a flower to pollinate. Who is that whore, and why is she wearing one of your nice dress shirts? That's Sheila, Gary's ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Flower drug-dialed some of his ex-girlfriends last night. I can't believe it. I leave Gary alone for one night, and she shows up. Don't worry, Jack. I know how to fix it. All we have to do is remind Sheila exactly who Gary is and why she dumped him in the first place. She didn't dump him. He dumped her. Gary dumped her? Yeah. yeah. And he was getting it on the regular. She must be an animal. She's a crass, lying, manipulative sociopath, and those are her good qualities. She's also... She's standing right behind me, isn't she? And she's still not wearing any pants. At least our fans in Malaysia will be pleased with all the skin we're showing this episode. You got me, Gatorade. I need to replace the electrolytes I've lost from all that sex I've been having. Mm. Oh. I swallowed my gum, too. Sheila, listen to me. That's not Gary. That's Gary possessed by a 1960s hippie. You will never understand a relationship. And you will never understand why the Federal Reserve is bad for America! God, I hate hippies. Sheila! This is only temporary. Eventually, that ghost is gonna leave Gary. Sweet Jesus, why can't she wear pants? I would settle for some non-Mormon underwear. I don't care if it's Gary or Flower or whomever, as long as I get what I came for. And what did you come for? Please say it's a floor-length skirt. A baby. You're trying to get pregnant? This, this might be my last chance. My eggs are drying up and I need Gary to moisten them. I didn't have to be that grass. I just said that to gross you out. It worked. Sheila, you can't do that to Gary. I know you never liked me, Jack. You convinced Gary to dump me. But I'm a different person now. And besides, there's no way he's getting rid of this. No one should have a tattoo there. Oh, Beans, she's still wearing that shirt. Ugh. Now she's sitting down. Note to self, throw that chair away. Sorry, Sheila. Flower, this is a business meeting. Ghost Raiders only. Gary owns half of the company. Therefore, he thinks he should know what's going on. Is that what you think, Flower? I'm my own man. Whatever my old lady wants is fine. Flower can stay, but you can't. Baby. Stop all this fighting, man. You're harshing my mellow. Look, Sheila is like my other half. It's like I've got a right side, I've got a Sheila side. Damn it! You hippies make me sick. You complain about the bourgeois lifestyle without taking into account that it's the free market that allows you to have the things that you rebel against. I mean, it's in the Bible. No, it's not. 
First order of business. Gary owns half the company, therefore, he wants Jack to buy him out. Is that what you want, Gary? Jack, you gotta realize, man, none of this is real. Becoming one with the earth, that's real, man. I just need enough bread to buy a van and drive down to Hawaii and start a commune with my brothers and sisters. We talked about buying a house in April. Sounds like you've given us a lot of thought. Fine. What? No, no, it's what they want. Who am I to stand in their way? I'll draw up the papers. Groovy, man, you're all right. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go drop some acid and give all my possessions away to inner city Negroes. I'm gonna go play some Billy Squire and ride him till I pass out. I'm gonna be an amazing mom. I get it. Reverse psychology. That's not it. It's worth losing Gary to get that woman out of my house. I'm with Jack. That woman is psycho. And I should know. I went to Vegas with Condoleezza Rice. How'd you get Sheila away from Gary? She and Casey are off doing what real Americans do. Terrence, you are the father. Oh my god. I know her too! Can you please scooch over? You're making me itch. Sign right there. Here's your check. No more Ghost Raiders for Gary Carr. It's like Janis Joplin said. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose, man. I don't see how that applies. Flower, you got the woman and the money. Welcome to the overly commercialized and shallow 21st century. All the Kennedys are dead. Tom Hayden married Jane Fonda and became a state senator. There's more to life than politics, man. There's poetry and literature and the Smothers Brothers. Andy Warhol, Ken Kesey, Allen Ginsberg, all dead. And nobody thinks the Smothers Brothers are funny anymore. There's the Beatles, man. All you need is love, love, love is all you need. The Beatles broke up 40 years ago. Two of them are dead. To show you there are no hard feelings, I got you this. It's an iPod. It's how we listen to music now. I put all your music on it. Oh, wow, thanks, man. Righteous. Listen. Sergeant Pepper is so clear. Take a listen to this. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Make it stop. What is it? Paul McCartney's latest album. Oh, Jack, that's just cruel. Ah, oh, God, that's awful. Turn it off. Gary? I'm back. Praise <laughs> the Lord Jesus. What did I miss? Sheila's back. Get rid of her. How? Same way I did before. Now all we have to do is pack up and move before she burns the place down. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Gary.